With the aid of a suitable guide wire, hold the guide wire in place and advance the microcatheter until the end of the microcatheter is positioned so that at least four millimeters of the solitaire AB will extend past each side of the aneurysm neck along the parent vessel when fully deployed. Once the microcatheter is in place, remove the guide wire and tighten the RHV. With the aid of fluoroscopic monitoring, carefully advance the solitaire AB to the desired position until its distal markers line up at the end of the microcatheter. To deploy the solitaire AB, loosen the RHV, then carefully withdraw the microcatheter in the proximal direction. Retract the microcatheter to where the detachment zone is outside the microcatheter. Tighten the RHV to prevent any movement of the push wire. If angiographic monitoring reveals undesirable positioning, repositioning of the solitaire AB is permissible two times. With the aid of fluoroscopic monitoring, hold the proximal end of the push wire in its position firmly enough to prevent the solitaire AB from moving. Then, carefully slide the microcatheter in the distal direction over the solitaire AB until the distal markers of the solitaire AB line up at the end of the microcatheter. When positioned as desired, withdraw the microcatheter in the proximal direction. A periodic acoustic signal and pre-detach indicator is lit on the solitaire detachment system, which indicates the detachment of the solitaire AB. When performing the technique of placing embolic coils into the aneurysm through the interstices of the solitaire AB, use a microcatheter with a distal tip of less than or equal to 2.5 French. Perform a standard embolic coiling procedure using accepted embolic coiling practices.